Hello and welcome to the GCC Nova blog on CRM 2011 document management using the connection to SharePoint 2010. Okay, so here we have our CRM 2011 and we're in settings document management. Now before any of this is done you must install the CRM list component to your SharePoint 2010 installation. Um, information on how that is done is on our website blog that accompanies this video. Okay, so we're in settings document management into document management settings. So what we're going to do is come into here and then enable the entities we wish to have document management running for. So we have account, contact, lead, opportunity, things along those lines. So you set the entities up you wish to have document management created for. You can always come back in and edit if you miss one. Notice that we already have the list component installed. We're now putting the URL for the SharePoint site that we're going to have the libraries go to. Select Next there. Then go through and validate the SharePoint site. Then we have a choice here as to how we want to structure the folders within SharePoint. So I'm going to base mine on Entity Account. Again, you can have a quick look at our website and look at the blog area there to see the different variations on what you can select here. There'll be another video tagged onto the end of this one which will go through what happens when you don't have the list component installed on SharePoint and you're not basing the folders on anything because what's going to happen here is when I go through and do all this it's going to go through and create the document library paths so that when I come down to the relevant entity item then it's going to automatically create the folder in SharePoint so those have already been done, those have already existed but it would have created the folders waiting there if I hadn't already done that so we select finish there <coughs> So if we go and have a look at uh, what's going on in SharePoint, so these are some accounts that have already had documents attached to them. So we see there's four there already. So if we go and select another account here, so we come over to Sales and Accounts, and onto the Accounts area here. So if we come down and select, let's say, Extended Tours here, we open up the Extended Tours account. Now document management is enabled, so if I come down onto the documents area here, it's then going to ask me whether I want to create a folder in this particular location. So look, it's server name, entity name, and the name of the record. So we've got relative URLs going on here, so if I select OK, it's now gone away and created a SharePoint folder. I could go ahead and adding files here if I wish to. So if I come in, I'll add a file on here. So we'll just add in a CRM and Office data sheet. There. Just add that in. Obviously we get all of the normal SharePoint functionality within this document management here, be it check-in, check-out, version and control, anything that's going on with SharePoint will be through here. So that's added into the document management area of the account. If I just come back to SharePoint here and just refresh this list, we now find we have extended tours there, so it's automatically created the folder in SharePoint. If I come back to extended and come down to say the contacts area, so we've got a couple of contacts in here, so we can then go on and add more in there. So if I come back to SharePoint at the moment, if I go into the extended tours folder I just have the document we just added in so if I come in and now choose my contact so I have a contact record here come down to the document management area of contact record and it's now going to go ahead and create the folder server name entity name company name entity name contact name okay so that's where the folder is going to be created select OK, so once again it's automatically created I can go ahead and add in a file again if I wish to so if I add in say that one select OK check that in so that's added the document in that back into my extended tours folder in SharePoint click refresh and now I've got a folder underneath the company folder which then has the contacts and then all the contacts have had documents added to them so we're going to Harold I then have 
the folder there. So this is CRM functionality linking through to SharePoint. When I've installed the list component and I'm allowing CRM to create the folders for me. So this is what CRM will look like when it is not automatically creating the SharePoint locations and the SharePoint list component is not installed. So we're here inside a contact record. So if we come down to documents and notice here it's not saying it's going to create one, it's actually asking for the document location. So you would previously have had to have created the document repository in SharePoint. So if we come over to SharePoint and pick up the URL, just copying from the address bar there, and come back into CRM, we can then paste the URL into there and that then becomes an absolute URL. The save is available, we save that and then that will create a, a link through to that document library and will appear in CRM. And there we have the library. We notice it's now in an iframe. We see in the document library, but there we go. And we can work on the documents either within CRM or within SharePoint. So whichever way you choose to create your link from CRM to SharePoint, be it using the CRM list component in SharePoint and having CRM create automatic folders or linking folders back from SharePoint to CRM manually, you can also create multiple document locations against a record. So we're back in Extended Tours account here and we have the automatically created location here. I can go ahead and edit this location if I wish to. I can rename it, I can link it to something else, I can link it to an entirely SharePoint uh, site there. Or I could go ahead and create multiple document locations here by adding location. So I can maintain my document locations within the records as well. Or alternatively, if I want to correct some on mass, so I can come back to me settings area in CRM into the document management area here and over to SharePoint document locations. And this will then link through all of the locations against the particular entities. So here we have regarding extended tour, so that's a link through to that one. I can highlight and then use the ribbon toolbar here to start activating, deactivating or deleting the document locations there. So that is the end of the video on CRM linking through to SharePoint and using the CRM list component.